To solve this inequality symbolically, we need to start by making a number line. And the first thing that goes on our number line are the values that make this function equal to 0. So we have 2x squared minus 5x minus 3 equals 0, and we need to solve this. I think that the easiest way to solve this is by factoring 2x squared minus 5x minus 3. Because of the 2x squared, we know that one of these has to be 2x, and one of these has to be x. And because of this 3 here, that we know that one of these has to be 1, and one of these has to be 3. So I think that putting the 3 here and the 1 here will give us what we need. And we know that, again, because we have the negative in front of the 3, we know that we have that one of the signs is positive and one is negative. To give us the uh, inside term of negative 5x, we know that we need to have the negative there in front of that 3 and the positive in front of the 1. So then we get 2x squared minus 6x plus x, and that gives us the negative 5x minus 3. So from this we uh, use the zero product property, so we know 2x plus 1 has to equal 0, or x minus 3 is 0, so x equals negative 1 half, or x equals 3. So we plot these two values on the number line. We have negative 1 half over here. We put a 0 up there to denote that the function is 0 there. And we put a 3 here. Again, use a 0 to denote that the function 2x squared minus 5x minus 3 is equal to 0 there. Okay, So what we're doing with this number line is we're classifying everywhere where 2x squared minus 5x minus 3 is either positive, negative, or 0. Okay, these are the two places where it's 0, and now we need to see where it's positive and negative. So we choose a test value in each one of these three segments. So for the first one, we need to choose a test value that is smaller than negative 1 half. I'll choose negative 1. In the middle piece, we need to choose a number that's between negative 1 half and positive 3. So I'll choose the number 0. In our final segment, our final piece, we need to choose a number which is larger than 3. I'll choose 4. And what we do is we plug each of these three test values into the function and we see whether it's positive or negative there. So let's start with negative 1. We have 2 times negative 1 squared, okay? placing negative 1 in here, minus 5 times negative 1, minus 3. So that's equal to 2, negative 1 quantity squared is positive 1, so 2 times 1, or 2. Negative 5 times negative 1 gives us positive 5, and then minus 3. So that's 2 plus 5, 7, minus 3 is 4, and that's positive, so we know that everywhere from negative 1 half and below, the sign of the function is positive. Now check the test number 0, again by plugging it into the function. So we have 2 times 0 squared minus 5 times 0 minus 3. That's equal to 0 minus 0 minus 3, so that's negative 3. So the sign everywhere here in between negative 1 half and 3 is negative. Okay, so that means that the function is negative everywhere there. Finally, we need the test point 4. So we have 2 times 4 squared minus 5 times 4 minus 3 is equal to 2 times 4 squared, which is 16, so 32 minus 5 times 4, which is 20, minus 3. Okay, so this is equal to 32 minus 20, minus 3, and that's equal to 9. Since 9 is a positive number, we know that everywhere greater than 3, for all x values greater than 3, our function is positive. So we put a plus here. 
So now we've classified everywhere where the function is positive, negative, and zero. So we're ready to answer the question about the inequality. We want to know where 2x squared minus 5x minus 3 is greater than or equal to zero. Greater than or equal to zero means either positive or zero. So we go to our number line and look for the x values where the function is either positive or zero. So well, starting right here, we see that at negative one half it's zero. And below negative one half it's positive. So we know that everything less than or equal to negative one half solves the inequality. Or, again we see that at three the function is zero then larger than 3, the function is positive. So everything greater than or equal to 3 also solves the inequality. So the solution to 2x squared minus 5x minus 3 is greater than or equal to 0 is x is less than or equal to negative 1 half or x is greater than or equal to 3.